Hi everybody, good to see you all back here. In the last episode we ended on the note that a Sakar falcon was found on Ameland and it is still a new bird for me in the Netherlands. second record for the country after the first record in 2019. Then on a Friday afternoon the message came through that a soccer falcon was seen at Den Uver. So I went there directly but we couldn't find the bird that day. And then on Saturday it was raining cats and dogs in the morning. So I decided to drive there to be there at half past 12 in the afternoon in the hope that the bird would show itself later on the afternoon. But sadly, five minutes before I got there, uh, the bird had flown by and I missed it. So I went searching in the area and then uh, about an hour later, the bird was refound. So I went there again, but missed it on a couple of seconds. I saw something shooting behind some trees and then I saw some starlings and lapwings flying up into the air. Possibly that was the Saka falcon who scared those birds. But as I didn't see anything about that bird, I can't count it as a Saka falcon. So I still need it on my list. But then it's the question what to do now. It was seen at Ameland at about uh, 7 p.m. And it was seen flying to the Wadden Sea. So it could still be on Ameland, but it could also be on the other uh, one of the other Wadden Isles. Or it could be at the mainland. So what I've decided to do is I've driven, driven to uh, Holwerts. I took my, uh, my work laptop with me so I can uh, work now and see what happens. And maybe in the afternoon I can search myself. Maybe I'll take the ferry to Ameland, rent a bike and search on the island. Or maybe I'll search here on the mainland. Let's hope we'll see it today. While searching for the Sakar Falcon, I found this juvenile red shank and I thought it would be nice to show it to you as it has really yellow legs for a red shank. Adult birds have more reddish to a bit orange legs but juveniles can have very yellow legs resembling a lesser yellow legs but that species is slimmer built, has a all black bill and also has a primary projection. This is so cool. I was walking towards a bird hide as I uh, never have been here in the hide when it was high tide. So I was wondering how many waders I could see from the hide. But on the path to the hide, a sitting cysticola was singing. So that was a really nice self find. Sitting cysticola is pretty rare in the Netherlands, especially in Friesland, where it is a real mega rare bird. And after being part of the discovery of the white rumped sandpiper yesterday, I can now get another very good find, so that is very cool. Now let's hope that I can take some photos or footage from the bird, as that is pretty hard with sitting cysticolas.
Due to the help of Jeroen and Merel, we finally found the bird sitting in the vegetation. So I could take this photo. It's not a really great photo, but it is a bird that I've never photographed before because it is really hard to photograph. When, it, uh, when you see it, it is mostly calling when flying overhead. But when it lands in the vegetation, mostly it goes deep inside the vegetation, so you can't see it. So I'm pretty happy with this photo. You can identify it as a sitting cysticola by the uh, yellow color of the bird. It is pretty streaked and also has a very short tail. But the sitting cysticola is most easily recognized and found by its display. It sings when it flies overhead, making a constant zip, zip, zip sound. Well, that was it. If you've liked the video, please leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.